do a number of things. Uh, one of the things we do is, is we run this, this, this academy for young drivers. We also develop racing cars for people and do maintenance and preparation work. And we sell all of the safety equipment to the drivers around the region because there are rally, drag racing, drifting, car racing uh, and karting. So we've been doing that uh, in this region. We're celebrating our 10 years this year. To be a race driver, a racing driver, um, there's a lot to learn. And the, the quickest and cheapest way of learning the basics of racing is in karting, kart racing. Uh, you can do that, it's very intense. You can do it relatively cheaply and you'll learn an awful lot that transfers to the world of professional racing. So we only take drivers that have done that. I wouldn't take anybody who hasn't shown that level of commitment. There's no point because they would find this difficult and expensive if they haven't learned to race. So karting is the first step. The second step on their journey to the top of the tree is, is at this level where this is the, sort of the apprenticeship to learn how to drive a racing car properly. And it's quite tough. And normally they'll do that for one or maybe two seasons before they then progress. And our drivers either progress in, in the industry, they either go further up with single-seater racing. Two of our drivers have gone off to do rallying and also drivers go off to do sports car racing. For example, Le Mans. So at the top of the tree, uh, one level you've got Formula One, on another level you've got the World Rally Championship and on another level you've got the 24-hour Le Mans sports car. So what you'll find is that all of the top drivers have to do this. The main thing about become a professional racing driver is probably similar to someone who wants to be a gold medal swimmer or an athlete and it requires more than anything commitment and discipline and once you've got commitment and discipline if you add intelligence then you've got someone that really wants to work at it because this isn't rocket science it's a process and if you've got the commitment to work at it and you've, you can find the time and of course the cost you need to pay the bills but if you've got those things and you work at the process providing your your attributes allow you to, let's say, you need to be quite good with hand-eye coordination. Uh, it's not about being brave, it's about being precise. So for me, if I see a racing driver, he's got those things. He's smart, he's fit, you have to be very fit to do this. And more than anything, he's got his, the attitude and the commitment is right. And that's what distinguishes racing drivers from the public. Uh, a lot of people say, oh, I want to be a Formula One driver. But, you know, if you're kind of a lazy person, just forget it. Go read the newspaper.